Fred Penner, yes, please. Come on in. Hi. Lauren, nice to see, nice you, to see you. Carlin, really Carlin. nice to meet you. All right, Good come sit you. between us. Take a mic. I'm sitting. Mm -hmm. I'm taking a mic. Yeah, I was just telling Lauren that I think, I think that you played my elementary school when I was in grade two. <laughs> That's entirely possible. I've played a lot of elementary schools. I said if he can remember the name of the school, maybe Fred remembers okay, well every tell me, single tell school. Tell me what, what city it was, just to it narrow it down. It was actually a town. A town so in, that makes it even in what part of the world? Alberta. Alberta. A town in Alberta. Uh, it could have been Canmore. No. No. It, 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 <laughs> it wasn't was Calgary. Not. A small town, Leduc. Uh, he heading Leduc. north? South of Leduc. South There's of Leduc. There's no way you're going to know. Oh, no, just a minute. Thorsby. Thorsby. Yeah. Would you have ever guessed that? No, I wouldn't have. No, you wouldn't. No, yeah. but I remember that name. Do you? I remember because I only played there once, I think. Okay, <laughs> maybe that was it then. <laughs> right. the one, you I were an exclusive Fred Penner performance <laughs> yeah. at your school. That's crazy. Never been there again. I uh, was thinking, like, so many people, probably their first album that they ever had is probably mm. a Fred Penner album. What's the first album that you ever had or you ever bought? Uh, off the top of my head, the first one I had was a double album of Harry Belafonte at Carnegie Hall. Ooh. Wow. And that's funny, because I, I just heard, I was listening to Sirius Radio, you know, in the vehicle that I rented, and uh, and a Harry Belafonte tune came on, the Banana Boat song. I was going to say, it was the Harry Belafonte <laughs> yeah. put the lime in the... Co no, no, no. That, that's... Um, the one that Lil Wayne sampled, Harry Belafonte. Did he? Yeah. It's the, in that... The Deo. 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 Yeah. Deo yes. Deo is the, the banana boat song. Yes. Officially. But, but he w I remember this song clearly <laughs> from, uh, from, from my, well, I guess 10, 11 years old. Yeah. It was a, it was a, and it's a good album. It's really well produced. So there you go. Harry Belafonte. So this is your third Juno win. Yes, <laughs> number three. How do you feel? I'm Lucky number three. I I'm really quite uh, quite touched by this. I was I was I had to fight tears, you know, oh. coming up to the stage yeah. because I wasn't I wasn't expecting it, and uh, and and I, I and you never do this work mm -hmm. for for accolade for recognition from anybody else you do this because it's in you know as alan was saying it's it's in your it's in your dna it's in your bliss it's what you must do as a, as a creator as a performer in this world you, you get out there and you you do your absolute best in, in trying to make things happen and uh and if people like what you do and encourage you to go farther then bonus mm -hmm. but uh but i'm i'm just amazed that this has happened i really well, am we're so happy for you and you like correct me if i'm wrong but it's been a while since you released your last album yeah so was there a reason that you came back for this one was there it, well th there was um there was a company i was working with in in winnipeg for a while and 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 the the album sort of spawned from that for a bit and then we we parted ways but the album still uh, still existed, but it, it did not have any distribution. It was it was just sort of sitting there on a shelf until uh, until True North Records came along and said, "Hey, what well, do you have anything we can uh, we can work with?" Mm -hmm. I said, "Yes, as a matter of fact." So uh, so a year ago we put the pieces together and uh, and they've now taken the reins on uh, distributing where in the world and it's pretty cool. Are you always actively writing music? Is that something that's part of your it, life? It go yes, but it, but it goes through waves. You know, there'll be times where I'll I'll write something specifically for uh, for a friend's birthday or a special occasion, and then uh, and then I'll be quiet for a while and I'll be touring. I mean, this I, we're just uh, embarking on a couple of weeks on the East Coast, and I expect over that time I'll write some new material and. Uh, and I've got I've got a wealth of songs, probably enough for another half a dozen CDs, which I need I need to find time to get into the studio mm -hmm. to make that uh, complete that. Yeah, and you've had a very long career. Do you still enjoy touring? Like you say, you're going to the East Coast. Yeah. Or have you ever enjoyed touring? <laughs> it's part of the package. Yeah. You know, I mean, what what I enjoy is being on the stage. You know, mm -hmm. I love getting up there and just interacting with the audience and sharing the song and story and the music. And, and feeling the reaction that comes back at me, that's the, that's the bottom line. Getting to the gig is, you know, is, is the necessary evil. Mm -hmm. But learning, you know, after 40, 40 plus years being on the road, I know how to take a taxi, I know how to get on a plane, I know how to maneuver through just about any airport, you know, in any, any part of this world. And, and I... Uh, yeah, I was thinking lots of your fans, like Lauren and I, <laughs> yeah. we've grown like up everyone. with you. <laughs> so when yeah, when you play a show now, it's not all kids anymore, is it? Or is no, it no, quite the 
quite the contrary. I mean, I've, I've always thought of myself more as a family entertainer than a children's entertainer, and because uh, I don't assume any alter ego that is condescending to the audience. Mm-hmm. I, I talk to the kids the same way I would talk to you right now. Well, that's it's, the thing. If we know, had kids, we would totally bring our kids to see Fred Penner. But we don't have kids. <laughs> like so it might be weird if but just Carlin anyway. and I go. Well, no, that's the thing. Is it wouldn't be. <laughs> no? The okay. Cas- the Casbah was all adults last night. Oh, the Casbah. Yes, yeah. and they were... And they were singing. We, we had, you know, 45 minutes of, Amazing. of participation. The cat came back and sandwiches and all the songs were, were rocking the place. And it was, it was very touching. That's because everyone literally here in the room <laughs> at the Juno Gala Dinner and Awards loves you. There's, so you could have sold a, out, a co- out Hops Calls, your first Ontario place yourself yeah. in Hamilton. Well, we'll Absolutely. Work on yeah, that, yeah, right? yeah, let's. Let's see if that'll happen. I couldn't help but notice you said. You might just write a song for your friend's birthday or something. Yeah, you can get a personalized happens. Fred Penner song. <laughs> sure, sure. Drop me, a, drop me a line. Send me some background info. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Ooh, that would be the fun. Cherry on top of any birthday. Oh, my are. God. I would just <laughs> die and melt in my seat, wouldn't I? You're adorable. You're um, I just want to share a story here from the chat room. Oh. Maddie said that you came to um, his school in Belleville multiple times, and then three years ago we got to play Capital XX Fest in Edmonton with Fred Penner, and he was the nicest person ever. Congrats on your win oh. from Maddie. I don't know That's what that sweet. Capital XX Fest is in Edmonton, but... It's just Capital X. Okay. Oh, it is? Oh, <laughs> yeah. that was a typo then, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, you played a show last night. What are you going to do tonight to celebrate other than this gala? Um, but well, probably head off to the uh, Gibson party later on. Rocking check it. Check that out. And then I've got a fairly early morning a 10.30 sound check for the songwriters. Yeah, Circle. Circle, which I'm really excited about. That's, that's sort of the highlight for me is to get up there and, and do a couple of tunes that I would not normally do in a family concert. But um, it's so a more mature song, content. Yeah. <laughs> so that's right. <laughs> so yeah. actually, we're live right now. So how can people find okay. you if they want to go to the Songwriter Circle event? Uh, well, it's at the Hamilton, the Great Hall here in Hamilton. Uh, I believe there are still tickets available. Mm-hmm. It's tomorrow at I think one o'clock. So uh, so check that out. Singer song or Songwriters Circle. Juno 2015 that'll that'll take you somewhere and you will you do some kind of like jamming collaborating with the other songwriters that, that's there TBA yeah. uh, I know Matt Anderson is there the incredible amazing Matt Anderson and uh, and I, I've got my harmonicas with me so there's an outside chance that I may be able to to connect with him we'll see Hopefully you're allowed to use your phones in there and like, um, <laughs> you know, videotape well, what might happen and put it on YouTube. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll. You'll welcome that one. You, you're turn, a tech I'll, guy. I'll turn a blind eye on that okay, one. Okay, okay. Can, can we take yeah. a picture with you to put on our Twitter? Certainly. Okay. Scooch in. I'm scooching in. We've actually been forgetting to take pictures, so yeah. you're oh, the inaugural let's, first let's twit pic of yeah. the evening. Uh, you, with s- with how long you've been around the Canadian music industry, when was your first Juno Awards? First award was 1986. It was the, Where was uh, that? It was in, well, uh, it was, oh, where was it? I wasn't there. It was in Toronto at the O'Keefe Center. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, the first, <laughs> the first, <laughs> oh, yeah. Juno, the oh. first Juno Award <laughs> that I received was in 1986. I think that was it. It was for Fred Penner's Place, yes. uh, an album that we put together, well, at, at that time. Uh, the awards were I- at the O'Keefe Center in Toronto, and I was on tour. So I'm I'm driving down the highway between Manitoba and Saskatchewan, and, you heard? and, I, and I heard the heard the news, and I thought, oh, are you kidding? I want to be there, but yeah. There. I have to ask yeah. you about Fred Penner's place because I yeah. obviously have watched it from the beginning when I was younger. Um, the puppet, the guy that I loved, Giorgio. Giorgio. That's his yep. name. Love him. Yeah, he where was wonderful. where is he? Uh, Giorgio's creator and uh, and and person behind the mask. Uh, her name is Francie Anderson, and she now lives, lives in Barrie, Ontario. Oh yeah. Uh, she's still doing doing the Giorgio plus other puppets shows in in schools. Oh, so uh, I could actually still see Giorgio. If you <gasps> you could. I have to have a child. Gior- Giorgio was was really <laughs> a, a great character, yeah. and Francie was uh, a wonderful person to work with. The lesson here is I need to have a child so that I can now go see Giorgio at the school or something like that. And you, sir. That's the second time you've gone there. You don't Hmm. need to have a child to go there. (laughs) It's true. Just do it because because it's the inner 
child. It's, you know, it's a trite name, but, right. but the inner child, the youthful exuberance that obviously is inside of you, mm -hmm. bring that forward and, and, and just learn to play. You are an adult, you have responsibilities, but there are parts of you that need yeah. need to be n nurtured as the oh, child. Sage I know all about the inner child from therapy, yeah. so <laughs> I'd rather sage do my therapy with Fred Penner, but, you know, he's a busy man. Thank you Bingo. so much. Congratulations Thank you, darling. on your children's album, Juno. Thanks this is so great. much. Okay, up next we've got Dallas Smith, who won Country awesome. Album yeah. of the Year. And uh, we'll see you around, okay? We're going to see you. Actually, will you be going to the show tomorrow? Here, I keep what show? The actual show. You're going to the Juno Awards? I, I'll be there. I, I won't be on stage, I don't expect. But Maybe we'll see you on the carpet or something. Oh, oh yeah, on the carpet. Okay, sure, come yeah. see us. Fabulous. Okay, thank Thanks you, Fred. You.